Welcome back. Today I had the idea of following a Bob Ross tutorial. I hope you guys can hear me all the way over there because you guys are super far away. I'm wearing my Bob Ross shirt today and I am super ready to paint. I did not paint in probably a year. I used to paint all the time in high school. I was in AP art and I was like in the highest art class there and I loved art so much. And hopefully today I can bring out my inner high school self. I try my absolute hardest guys to be following this tutorial. Like I actually want this to turn out good. So let's cross our fingers, please. I was honestly so excited to start this video and now I'm like actually kind of nervous to start. I also have another camera over here. Just to get started. We got our standard old pre-stretch canvas and I use an 18 by 24 but you can use any size that's convenient for you. We covered the entire surface with a thin even coat of liquid white. Okay. That so liquid white if you guys don't know is super expensive and i was not about to buy that because i already bought like half the stuff for this video so we're going to just use white paint and i don't know if that's the same thing and i just look stupid right now or if that's different and i just was not all in for this video and did not get liquid paint or liquid white white and just put it on the canvas i have all my colors on this palette and i went through and like looked at them before the video started they're not all the same some of them are the same already thankful that I put down a tablecloth because I already got paint on the floor, guys. I am such a messy painter. Let's start out with a little alizarin crimson. Oh, Just a little, pull a little out and tap it. Okay, so he's starting out with some red paint. So what he says to do is literally pull it out and tap it. Guys, I'm super nervous. Maybe we'll have a nice warm area in the oh, sky. Oh gosh, you're so Let's go right up in here. In here. And just using the little crisscross strokes, just make little X's, let it blend with the liquid white, those colors. Okay, got to clean the brush, he says. Got to listen to Bob Ross, you know. Okay, I already made a mess, guys. This is insane. Okay, so we're going to get some crimson blue. Uh, do I have that? Uh, of course I don't. Just try and match the colors. And I kind of watered down my colors so that they flow because they're not oil paints still making the little crisscross strokes and just laying honestly that does not look too bad i must say okay so we're making some water now folks phthalo green i don't have that one so as we normally do i like to i like to have a little Glimmer of light coming across them. The How does this look like that? Like, oh no, I just got yellow. Okay, um. Ooh. This is where we really get crazy. This is where we get really there. crazy, okay. Shake off the excess. Oh. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. We're not. Alright, just take an old one inch brush. I'm gonna put some happy little clouds in there. Oh god, yeah. hold on. We're, having, we're starting the clouds. This is the cloud time. I'm not prepared. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? It lives right up here. He just floats around the sky and has a good time. Now all we're doing is just sort of tapping and hitting the canvas. See, so get those nice fluffy little edges. And it creates a nice little floater up there in the sky. Let me show you something. I can get back to it. Okay, cool. Okay, this is where I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, we made contact. Okay, okay. I should probably tell you the correct name for this, but I just call them little floaters. They just hang around and have a good time. So give us an indication of some little things that are floating way back in the distance. Now, oh, no, no, no. Like it. That's not yeah. good. In your world? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just trying to fix my mistakes, I think. Or, not mistakes, ha happy accidents. That's not that bad, I don't think, right? Like, I'm just putting in more clouds, or- Like a happy little cloud. I am mixing some gray into it, because his are a lot more, like, pronounced. It's not 
that bad, I must say. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we're doing, we're going into with the mountains now. And I think he wants me to use a palette knife, which I hate palette knives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. I'm not ready. So he's using this palette knife. Let's cut me up here, maybe right there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Just this is really scary. I don't want to mess up. Whoa, ho, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, this is where I actually mess up. Uh, okay. Okay. Where the peaks are and all the valleys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. Whew. This is getting, I'm sweating all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, dang. That's a good mountain. That is a mountain. Hey, I'm pretty proud of that mountain, I must say. Okay, okay, you see me, Ball Ross. That's what makes painting so much fun. You get to control my world. So, uh, I guess we're adding more mountains so I can maybe mess up one. Um, I realized that a little bit too much up. It's supposed to be down more with the mountains, but can't really change it now, so. This thing is cheating and painting if it works. If it makes you happy, then it's good. Everybody sees nature through Oh my gosh, wait. He like extended his mountains all the way over there and I didn't even see it. Holy crap. Okay, we got some work to do, folks. <laughs> this is okay. Okay. Ta-da! Alright, I think. It's just really hard to blend the way that he is. Also, mine's a little bit more green than his for some weird reason. Couldn't tell you why, but... Yeah, but it gets a little highlights. Oh, gosh. But that knife just sort of bounce and wiggle and jiggle. Peaks and valleys. You need a little home for the mountain goats. <laughs> mm. Nothing's oh. touching the canvas but that little roll of paint. Oh, gosh. I just messed this up a lot. Yeah. Shouldn't have added that much. And just a little touch over here. Just go away. Oh no. Yeah, this is not working out like I thought it would. <laughs> oh no. I messed it up. How does this look so good? I think it's because I have too much paint. fixing the problem a little bit um I don't like how this is turning out so far <laughs> the problem came into play that I added too much paint to my paintbrush or to my palette knife guys I'm not too proud of this yet <laughs> compared to what his looks like it looks like crap Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I feel like that looks better once I did this whole thingy of Bobber that he told me to do with like making it a little hazy looking. This color looks nothing like the color he. Okay, guys, so this is where the problem comes in the handle. Um, I don't have a fan brush. I have to do with what we have. Which is going to be a problem because I really need one and I forgot to get one at the store yesterday. Okay. And these things usually, they usually stay around the house when they turn them loose. I don't think it looks that bad, honestly. I'm not a fan of the trees. Watch here. Let's have some fun. We'll take a little of that same amount and go. A stone? Twist? Fall? 
take care of it, treat it well. It'll grow up and be a big mountain like its big brother really down some down here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He does this so fast, and I don't get how. Push. Okay, so you send some mist. Going back in with the blue, place where I messed up last time. With too much detail, then you lose that illusion of distance. Popping in some trees, like Bob Ross says. It's not looking bad. He's saying to grab a one inch brush, but this is my one inch brush to me. Putting some bushes in there. This is one of many ways of making beautiful little bushes. Sometimes we use a little ground. Okay, not a fan of these trees. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up. It, like, has this, like, blob looking thing. I think it's supposed to be a reflection. Trees and stuff like that in there. There we are. Instant reflections. Now we can go back. Okay, guys. Uh, this is going well. Guys, I think I'm doing pretty good, honestly. Like, I don't think I'm doing that bad. Oh no. Okay, I this could be a make it or break it kind of thing because this tree is big. It's like in the center. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Holy crap. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh no. I did not do that right. How does he do that? Like, he just went in there. Dang it. That sucks. My tree is so lopsided, guys. And, like, his tree is too, but mine is really lopsided. So this tree right here. I think I'm gonna try and put some clouds over it. So it covers it. This might either screw it up completely or actually help. Okay, that's not bad. All right, guys, so this is the final product. Honestly, I'm not too sad with it. Like, it looks honestly pretty good. Definitely looks a lot better from far away but I'm not like upset with it at all. This is my mess. Okay, well, it is now 10.42, so that means that I've been working on this now for about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes-ish. I don't hate this, like this is not bad at all. Like I'm amazed at how quick I made that because if I was in art class, this would probably take me weeks. It was like a success and it was a lot of fun and I did learn a lot about like how to like move the paintbrush around and like different things that I probably wouldn't have done without Bob Ross's help. I even like fixed my mistake over here or not my mistake my happy accident. If you guys want me to do another Bob Ross video? I was thinking maybe on like a jean jacket or like something like different than just a canvas. Let me know down in the comments because I would love to do another one. That would be so much fun. I would love to have Bob Ross back on my channel as a guest. But thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and like this video if you like it and you want to see more of them and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!